Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of City Skylines. This is the mass transit download content. Uh, we haven't gotten into very much of the mass transit part of the game, but since last episode, guys, I've been doing a lot of building, and I think we ended at like 5,000. We're up to like 8,000 people, and I know the next benchmark is right around 10,000 people, 11,000, and we're going to get there soon. And we're going to open up uh, some of the mass transit type stuff, like the monorails and trains and harbors and stuff like that. So I did want to let that go past. I wanted to record it, so that's what I'm doing. Uh, let me show you what we've changed so far a lot. <laughs> uh, we have... I shouldn't say we. Uh, I have... I guess it's we, because you guys are kind of part of this too. Um, at least I would hope that you would be. This is our only town area. Uh, this is our only commercial district, really. And it's got a lot of really cool places. It is freaking loud, isn't it? I don't know if it's loud on your end, but holy mackerel. Okay, let's uh, ambient volume. Let's turn it down. Uh, chirper. Yeah, let's turn the chirper volume down. I really don't want to use that. And let's just turn it all down. Yeah, that's a little bit better. But as you can see, our little town is getting kind of cool looking. I mean, we got some donut shops. We got a place called Pennies, which in, in America, it's also known as Denny's. Uh, we got a little tiny gas station here. That's kind of cool. And um, this is the Starbucks. I don't know. Big Bite must be like Burger King or something like that. I'm not sure what Big Bite is. It must be a regional thing. I'm not sure. What is this? This is called Pancakes. This is the Pancake House. Um, this is barbecue. That looks yummy. Uh, there's another gas station. So, I put these in. I downloaded these from the Steam Workshop. I think they're awesome. It actually tells how many people it employs. It employs quite a bit, quite a bit of people. Um, it really uh, improves the the land property around you. There's 23 jobs available, and uh, so yeah, that's that. And then over here is a fitness place, and we got uh, 24 or 48 workers. I don't know why it's a fire hazard. That's kind of weird. You would think that this one would be the fire hazard, but I don't know. So yeah, I made this so that the guys can go shopping and the women can go work out or however that works. All right, so over here we got a, uh, a, a sh another shell gas station. I had to build a graveyard or cemetery for all the dead people because that does happen. Oh man, where's he going? Chase him. Oh, what's going on? Whoa! What's the speed limit? What's going on with all the police? Good lord. I think they're getting overpaid. So anyways... So yeah, we got our, all these restaurants, which is kind of a multi-block structure. I can add a whole bunch of these little individual chain stores. There's a Papa John's, uh, a Bank of America. I actually made this parking lot. We're going to show you how to do that. A little Aldi's grocery store here on the corner. Um, I did change all the roads to black. Um, you can actually change the color to anything that you want. Um, I mean, you can even make them blue if you wanted to. But yeah, I kind of chose, it's like a charcoal color. Um, you actually have to use a little uh, slider. But, I, you know, it, where I live, most of the roads are blacktopped. They're not concrete. And the way that they looked before this was they were all all concrete. Um, over here is actually... Guys, I don't know if it's the freaking game. I mean, I have my volume almost completely off. Yeah, it's it's... It's the it's the freaking music that gets loud. Um, over here is a Target store. I downloaded this off the Steam Workshop too. Uh, 26 out of 40 workers, six overeducated workers. Not quite sure what that means. So we got well educated. So maybe they just need better jobs. I don't know. I actually built this parking lot. These are all individual little parking lots. You have to rotate them because they have to be up against like a a, a road, and it has to be that edge. You see where the 
I don't know what these are. I guess they're like shopping cart where you can leave your shopping carts. I'm not quite sure. But you can see all these are on this end and over here they're all on that end. But So that end has to touch a road. If not, it shows up like a little thing where it says it can't find a road. Um, but I'm not quite sure why these cars are parking out here on the street. We got some pretty cool looking cars. I mean, I don't know about you, but if I drove one of these, I don't think I'd be at Target. Could be wrong, though. I don't know. There's quite a few of them. All right. So that's a little roundabout. I didn't connect it to anything. Uh, our big problem, though, uh, was this intersection. And so I just made this a complete six-lane highway, three lanes each way. We took it across the bridge. We'll go over that in a little bit. And then I made this a, a, a basically a highway, too, because uh, that's eventually going to connect over there. And I extended our highway all the way down through here. And now we have, uh, this is actually uh, high density uh, residential, which is good. Um, this actually helps our land value tremendously to get these up here. Uh, and then up here we started making another little neighborhood. And this was where the windmills were. We no longer have windmills. Uh, we are working off of oil power, and I'll show you why we're doing that too. Uh, but yeah, this is a nice little neighborhood. I don't know if we named this. I don't think this has a district yet. I don't believe it does. We'll have to name that district. Um, and then uh, we continued this little highway road out and about up to the north. And this is, uh, I believe, the ore industry. Let's check. It is. so, And you can see that it's already... And I didn't know that this does this. So when you build industries or districts uh, let's say you want one on the ore area it does consume the ore so there's no ore here anymore so these these factories probably aren't going to be too much of a, of a producer I'm not sure if you have to move them um, or if these will actually get all this ore out here or you have to have the buildings on top we'll find out I don't know um, but that's a thing so that's the ore industry I put a little bit of a uh, commercial here as we come around here, I added another highway. I got this off the Steam Workshop too. This is absolutely fantastic. Um, I don't have the person who made this offhand, but this, if you can get this one, uh, the kid that does these, he's got a ton of them. Uh, this is fantastic. I mean, this, this saved uh, a ton of traffic, and I'll show you where our traffic jam is. Um, over here, this was where our city kind of ended. Uh, was right about here, and this was the um, forestry industry, forest industry. And if we go to here, um, and right now it's turned into fertile land, so I'm not quite sure how that changed. And then over here was the oil or industry, or the oil industry, and you can see that I've almost depleted this whole area. So, like I said, I don't know if this will turn into more ore or not. Um, not quite sure how that works, but we'll find out. And right here is where I'm having all kinds of problems. And the reason is, is if we zoom out, this is a main artery. This is coming in from out of town, and it goes through our town and goes out of our town. And I have an exit here, and then we have an exit here. Well, the problem is everybody that works in this area wants to come off of here and get right back on here. And I had this one set up kind of similar to this, and I had trucks, no lie, lined up all the way down this bridge, around the loop, all the way down here, up the road, and all the way down here. So what I did is I made a little off-ramp here, and it goes down under the ground, okay? So, because I, the, the topo here is kind of funky, it's going downhill, so it kind of makes it hard to get these bridges, because by the time I get over here, I'm way up out of the, out of the sky, or in the sky. Uh, but if we go to this, you can see where that road goes underneath the ground and comes back up. And that seems to have solved our problems with this. But now I have problems with this. And if I press fast forward, you can see now I have a backup. Look at all these trucks. Look at all this. All these trucks. And so now they're getting backed up here. And this this whole cluster F right here, I don't know what's going on. I changed... I guess what I can do is make this the second lane a turn lane. So let's go ahead and try that. Let's go this and this and then click this so they can also go here and here. And then if they wanted to, they can go straight. Maybe that will help. 
I'm not sure. But it might it might help over here, but I don't know why they're going at the same time. Who does that? So let's see if they'll turn. Yeah, there we go. You know, what we should probably do is just go to here and take here. How do I how do I get that one off there? I just want you what that guy just did a freaking U-turn. There we go. There. What is do you, is this not a stoplight here? Is this a stop sign? Um, so yeah, that's my problem there. The only thing I can think of is we might turn these roads here instead of these these two lane roads with cars on the sides. We might have to upgrade these roads here. Um, but yeah, that's that. So our problem, our other problem was we needed more space for residential. And I had asked you guys last episode which way to go. Um, but I went ahead and bought this land over here and this land here. So I uh, brought the bridge across. We used this setup again. And then I brought a nice big lane uh, down this way. And I had to destroy... Where is it at? Our train tracks. So our train tracks stop here. So we're going to have to bring those train tracks. Um, we'll, have to, we'll probably have to go underground maybe and come across because this is where they connect. We'll have to figure that out. We'll figure that out later. And I made this a neighborhood. This neighborhood is cool because I went into themes and I changed it to American style. And we enabled it and we got to pick. So if you have, I forget what mod it's called, but I think it's um, something to do with themes. Just look it up. Um, but you can go to a theme manager and you can actually go in and click on the houses that you want. So there was some houses that I actually liked. I don't like that one at all. Um, but yeah, there's some really cool builds in here. And if the, the upper level ones are really cool, in my opinion. Um, but yeah, that, so you can do that and you can pick any style really. But that's the style that we have here. So we have like American, what am I doing? We have American style here and it's working out pretty good. I like these houses. They're kind of cool. Um, they're kind of like early American, I would say, like maybe 80s, 70s style homes, some of them. Uh, but yeah, we'll, we'll just have to see how that works out. They're not upgraded, though. So these over here are starting to grow. I just don't understand the roof. Um, I'm a designer myself. This, is, this looks like a mess. Um, I can see all kinds of problems happening here, but this is a game, so I don't care. So yeah, that's our new neighborhood. This is going to be a large park eventually. And down here, I kind of did the same thing as what we did across the way. Um, this is some of the other. Uh, there's actually a new camera that I got too. And I think you press C? Nope. Um, hmm, is it M? Nope. Huh. Um, <laughs> I don't remember which key it is. Is it... Ah, poop. Let's go look. Let's go in the options. Uh, it's down. Is it uh, mm, advanced? No, 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 no. Cinematic camera extra. Is that what I want? No, I want this one right here. First person camera. First person camera. How do I get to that first person camera mode? Maybe it is the cinematic camera. Let's, uh, is it tab? It's tab. That's it. So tab, I can zoom in now. So yeah, we got uh, Bank of America, Papa John's, AT&T, Verizon, Subway. I'm not sponsored by any of these people, but if they knock, come knocking on my door, you know, I'm sure I'm going to, you know, think about it. Uh, I got another Shell station. Gas is really cheap today. Come get it. So yeah, that's cool. So press tab and get out of that. So that's our little neighborhood over here. They're all alone. Nothing's going on over here. They're not connected even to this these people yet. So that's where we're at. So I wanted to do you guys, after I, I think I talked for like, what, 10 minutes? I wanted you guys to be involved in the the uh, 11,000 achievement. So let's get going. So you can see we need a lot more residential. There, it, This is all already zoned, I'm pretty sure. Let's go in here and look. Yeah, it's it's already zoned. Um, I mean, we can add some more, I guess. Like that, and like that, and then... Let's do that, and then this piece, and let's just keep it at that. And then it's going to start asking for a little bit more commercial. We're losing some money because we're not gaining that many people, but uh, I need we need to like start doing some stuff uh, to gain some people. So I don't know, I don't know what they're wanting. I don't know if this is just too far away or what. Um, and I don't think I can buy. 
no, I can't buy any more properties, so that's going to be a that's going to be an issue. The only thing we can do though is delete some and increase it increase the zone if the, if you know what I'm saying. So we could probably uh, let's say that let's see this is look at this look at this. I don't know how to fix that, guys. We're gonna have to figure this out. I would really like to put some more residential over here. I really would. Maybe some like apartments, like right here. So let's let's try that. Let's do like a little apartment complex. Let's do uh, some grassy roads. Let's come in. Let's come in like this. And let's come in. How far can I go before? Yeah, that's what I wanted right there. There. And then like this. Let's come over. Let's see how we can fill this in real quick. Eh, that one right. So let's delete that. Let's do, let's go out one more maybe. Like that. You see that little line right here? That's what I'm trying to get rid of. I don't like that separation right there. Um... I wonder, I wonder if it's doing that because of the grade, maybe? I'm not quite sure. Uh, but that's okay. That'd be fine. We'll make this a little apartment complex. So let's grab this. And we'll just fill this in. And I don't want all of that. I just want this the entry part. And then this part. And then this part. And then that part. Yeah, and we'll put a little park. Let's put a little park over there. And let's do that. Let's put a... How big is that park? That's huge. About that, nope, that's even bigger. About that, nope. Uh, what kind of parks do we have? Um, about that one, nope, that's big too. Holy crap. Uh, what about that, nope. <laughs> These are huge parks. Come on, guys. What about that, nope, that's really big. That one? Oh, that'll work. Can we rotate it? It must have to be up against a street or something. Yeah, that's not going to work. Uh, what about that one? Nope. I don't have any skinny parks. Yeah, we're going to go... What about this one? Man, oh man. You don't have anything that's going to fit in that little area? What used to happen to all the little parks that they had? I mean, geez. Okay, well, let's forget about it. Uh, it is there if they want to build there. So yeah, we're up to almost 9,000 people. And I'm thinking about coming back over here and seeing what we got going over here. I'm thinking about putting another shopping center, like right beside Target. And uh, I didn't mean to press C. And I'm thinking that we should, let's see, do we have Costco? Let's type Costco. We do have a Costco, okay. How much does it cost? Forty thousand dollars. Oh my gosh! Well, what's this one? What's this? Oh my gosh! That's really cool, though. Um, so maybe we can't build Costco right now. I know this one was like fifty thousand, and then I had to take a—that was part of my loan. <laughs> but yeah. All right. Let's let's go back over here. Let's see what. Oh, this is this is working out really well. So these are these are growing actually. This says it needs trash pickup. Well, I can't help you there right now, buddy. But that is helping us with those um, high-end um, apartment complexes. What else could we do back here? Could we probably bring... It's saying that it needs a little bit more of the... Uh, let's do this. Let's Can we upgrade these streets? so that it has a turn lane in the middle. Yeah, that's kind of nice. I don't, know, I don't know if I like that or not. I think that's going to prevent cars from parking on the streets, and that's what I really kind of want. I don't want cars parking on the street. You ain't getting a lot of a, a lot of cool looking buildings here. You know what? We could uh we could zone this. I'll show you how that works. You click on this. Let's put it on pause. Um, you paint a district, so let's paint this. So let's go like this. Boop, boop. 
and like that all right and then what you do is you go in and you click on the district and you go to themes and you go to so allow it okay and then let's say we want to do New York style okay it says the theme might not work but no building selected that's fine so we'll go into the all right go into theme manager and then you go into New York style and then you go in here and you want to see we are on this so it'll I want to actually see just these only so let's turn all this off so I'm not confused right so these are the high rises. So these are the ones that we can possibly get. These are all level fives. These are level ones. So I don't know what level that we sh these are, but uh, yeah, that one's kind of nice. I mean, I don't want anything weird looking. That one's really nice. That one's okay. That one I don't like. I don't like the skinny ones. That one's cool. Uh, we just picked that one. I thought. So what about any of these? That one's okay. That one's kind of cool. Um, that one's cool. Let's zoom down here. They kind of look the same to me. Like I don't see any change from level one to level two or three. Now that one's really nice. You yeah, remember these are New York style, so you're not gonna see these. Yeah, you, know, you might be able to see them some other other places. I don't know. That one's kind of cool. Uh, level 4, that one's really nice. That one's nice. This is a cluster F right here. We've got to get this fixed. Um, I just wish that I could get these people to come in from this direction. Maybe that's what we do. I mean, look at this. Um, how do we solve that problem? And we don't have very much money. I mean, we're making money, but we don't have very much money. Look at this. What is going on here? I mean, the only thing I can do is upgrade that road, or we take it underground. Take it underground, have them come all the way down underneath the property and come up like right here on this entrance. And then they'll have to backtrack. That's going to be a lot of money. You know what, guys? Uh, if you if you guys are watching and you subscribe to my channel and, you're, and you like this game, let me know what you think about this. So, the purpose of this game is to unlock like gifts and stuff like this like you can't unlock this until you get uh, so many people population and whatnot one of the things that is hard for me to do as a, as recording is to have to have you guys watch me record and wait on money issues if you guys don't mind me playing with unlimited funds we still have to get our population I mean I could spend a million dollars and not get anybody to come to our city there's just that's just the way the game is set up so you let me know I can do this first season by using money constraints and that's fine and I'll do it um, and then I'll do another season where I can just build right but you let me know if you want to see me just build and have fun now I'll change it right away but you let me know you pick you let me decide you decide uh, what we're gonna do now though is we're gonna fix this problem right here because this is just absolutely drive me insane so we need to go into uh, let's do three lane one way and let's do this let's demolish this 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 and this and this and this and this and let's go underground and we need to go down 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 to here and this is gonna cost me a fortune Look at that. It's almost $8,000 to come to here. Am I lined up straight? Yeah, right there. Um, let's just do that. Let's come to here. And let's actually come to there. And then let's start coming up. Uh... 
Uh, it's because that road is there. That's fine. Let's just get rid of that road. Like so. Go back to that. And let's go back underground. And let's come up to grade. Like so. And then... Oh, why won't you let me connect? Um... Why don't you want me to connect there? Let's let's do this. Let's activate this. And now it will let us do it. All right. So And then let's change this road. Can we upgrade this road? Uh maybe we need to go to this one. Let's upgrade Hmm, that gives me a turn lane, right? So four lane road with turning lane. That's kind of nice. Let's do that there and that there. That might help our issue out there. Let's do that there, and then let's do that. I'm not going to have as much traffic here anymore. That's the thing. That's going to be nice. Yeah, let's try that. Let's see what we do. Let's see if that helps. Watch all these cars. They still drive on the... On the... Let's see if that helps, though. This might This might end up creating more problems than we need at this intersection, but we'll see. I'm not seeing any cars come up, though. Yeah, you, you, they're going in there. Let's see if they come out. Let's keep watching. Actually, you know, let's just, just go a little bit faster. Here they come. So there's a donut man. Here comes all the trucks. They're like, oh yeah, new road, new road, let's do this! Oh, look at that. They're actually taking both routes. And what we can also do is actually have this road come in like this to about there and then hook to that one. And that might alleviate a lot of problems. Still looks like we have a cluster F right there. You know what? Let's get rid of this road. Yeah, I think that's going to help us. I think that's going to do the trick. Can I upgrade this road? How much is it to upgrade? It doesn't tell me. Yeah, that works nice. I think that's going to help us. In the long run. Yeah, see they use the turn lane now. That's excellent. I like that. That was a good that was a good decision. I'm glad I did that. Let's just actually upgrade these two little sections here. Alright, so we got some prime land right here. That's a really nice land. Um, and I think that we should probably make it residential. I would say yes. So let's do it. Let's get some really nice roads going on in here. Uh, what is this kind of road? This is a basic road with a grass middle lane. Uh, one-way roads. We don't, we can't afford that road yet. That's monorails. Um, a two-lane road with a, yeah, I like these. I mean, that's fine. So let's do two, let's do two entrances. Let's, uh, actually, let's just do one entrance. Let's make it a four-lane, one entrance. So let's come off of here. We'll come into about right, we'll just come in. <laughs> I don't care where. What? Invalid shape. Oh, I need to do straight. Let's do that. All right, let's just come in. All right, so we got that going on for us. Now let's go back down to this one, and let's do... Um, Can we... Yeah, we can. Let's go to there. And then... Um, 
I want to do kind of like the same thing. Same concept, I mean. So, can we go to that? Yeah, because that I'm going to erase that little circle part there. And let's come to about there, and then there, and then back. All right, and then can I get another section? Oh, that's close. We can, but that that's not really that great right there. Hmm. I wonder if I could raise that terrain. Let's put it on pause real quick. Let's get our terrain tool out. I think it's uh uh is it this one? Yeah, it's this one. Is this the one I want? Yeah, this raises the terrain a little bit. Like that. Let's see if that would help us just a, just a little bit. Just enough to get some houses here on the corners. Like that. And then soften that out. Yeah, let's see if that helped. Let's go back to this. That didn't help us at all, did it? That didn't help us at all. Um, Alright, let's... Uh, is this costing us money? It is costing us money. Costing quite a bit of money too. All right, what about now? No. You know, I bet if I rebuilt that street, let's delete the street. Let's delete the street and that street, and let's build that street again. There it goes. It's just, it had to update. That's weird. All right, so we got that, and I think. Let's just go, um, we gotta have some smaller parks. This game used to have, like, really tiny parks. Like, really tiny parks. I mean, I downloaded a bunch of them, but I mean, like, really tiny parks. Like, see, I can't even, I would have to put it, like, here and here. I guess that's okay. Alright, let's do that. And let's do, um... Let's just fill in the blanks. All of that, and all of that, all of that, and then let's do, um, let's do this big chunk, and this big chunk, and then let's do this big chunk. Just like, actually, let's not go to the highway, let's do that. All right, guys, so I just, uh, I took a really quick break, and I wanted to see, make sure that this video was recording correctly, and I noticed that we were running almost an hour long on video, so when you do watch this, if it, if it seems like uh, some stuff was left out that's you know, on purpose, because I want to try to keep these videos down to like 30 minutes, so that's, that's what's happened, so I'm just looking around, and I'm seeing a lot of dead people, and I'm not quite sure why. Um, where would dead people be? Right here? Health? Death care? Hmm. Crematorium availability. Look at all these people that are dying. I mean, why? What is this? Um, health care, 7,000. Where is the graveyard at? Right here. It cost 8,000. But why are these people not getting picked up? I mean, there are a lot of dead people. Lots of dead people. Let's go ahead and hook these people up with some water. Alright, let's go ahead and get this video done with, and uh, we'll solve our death problem next episode. This is going to be a population problem. Look at all these people that are dead. Is it because there's no health care over here, maybe? I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll solve that later. If it becomes an epidemic, maybe it's just flu season. <laughs> ah. 
All right, so we're getting real close to 11,000. We need more industries is what it's saying. So I guess we could put a couple more industries over here. Let's go ahead and put some, let's put a block like right here. And let's go ahead and fill up, uh, let's go ahead and fill up this section right here. They are filling up. So our graveyard is over here, right? Yeah, that's our graveyard. And um, maybe it's the radius that we're having problems with. That could be the that could be the issue. So we probably need to build uh, another graveyard over here somewhere for the for the dead. So let's as soon as we get eight thousand, we'll go ahead and build one, and then we'll be we'll be flat broke. <laughs> We're almost there. All right, there we go. So let's build a graveyard. Let's put it like right there. So that should make all these dead people happy because now they have a place to sleep. So now they can sleep. All right, cool. All right, so they'll send out the... There they go, see? Now all the little... Now they're popping away. So we're at 10,900. We're almost there. As soon as we get to 11,000, break the break the thing uh, or accomplish what we're trying to do we'll end this video looks like we're having some traffic problems again we'll have to deal with that in a different episode too so like i said guys uh if you enjoyed this video or this episode let me know uh if you want uh if you guys don't care that i play with unlimited money it really doesn't affect the game other than uh my time recording because i gotta like take long period of breaks and wait for money to occur but we still got to get population and money doesn't buy happiness so we'll have to see so we're 15 people away there we go so we got a small city we got level six unique buildings we got trains monorails cable cars high-tech housing industrial space planning Ooh, big business benefactor I don't know what any of these are and a high-rise ban we got a bunch of cool buildings. This is cool. I really like this. And a dam. I don't really think that we're going to be able to use that, but we will see. Awesome. All right. Let's put this here. I want to check out this real quick. Um, let's go to city planning. High-tech housing, industrial space planning. This doubles the amount of goods produced by an industry, but it costs more to do it. Hmm. Yeah, we might not want that. And uh, let's, let's just not worry about that right now. All right, guys, this has been episode number three, I believe. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Like I said, make sure you hit the like or hit the like. Oh, my gosh. Hit that like button and also hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel. And if you want to become a member of Anxietyville, give me your input and let me know. Um, I might do just one episode, the next episode, uh, with some unlimited funds just to see how it's different and see if uh, I get any likes or dislikes on it. But you guys let me know, and uh, I'll see you next time, guys. It's been fun.